It's Tech for Market Explainer, your number one business news podcast. Hosted by Danny and the big man. And it starts right now. So this next story, fascinating enough, TikTok plans to push heavy into gaming and might even let gaming live streamers play with viewers. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a little alarmed by TikTok's <laughs> rise and capture of the American eyeballs. So my first intro to TikTok was really Jacob Sartorius. And I was telling you this in the in the prep hour, mm-hmm. you know, our pre-show. There's a lot of stuff that I may very one day have to explain to a federal prosecutor. Like, I promise it's not what it looks like. I wasn't looking at a, a teenage boy wiggling his dick for it was, it was so, for so the file when reason. you sit down in front of the yes. FBI CIA is like this yeah. thick of right. let's talk about June nineteenth two thousand seven <laughs> and I and I just want to be like I was it was for science I swear man <laughs> no but it just popped up on my computer what am I supposed to do <laughs> right um, but you know the. Uh, Musically was this app that had captured the attention right. of Zoomers who at the time were in the sixth or they were in junior high. Now Zoomers are out here getting mortgages. Getting old is weird, but that's just the way things are. But um, so this app it, it eventually got acquired or as- assumed by I think Tencent owned musically and it just merged it with TikTok. I don't quite understand how that happened, but in the last I mean, I would say Panini through now. I mean, well, Byte Dance, is, I believe, acquired everything. You know what I mean? They they took Musically it, and they acquired everything. It's called Byte Dance. B Y T E D A N C E okay. is the right, current company that owns TikTok. Isn't Byte Dance <clears throat> owned by Tencent? I don't know that information. I apologize. Okay. Maybe we should be market. I'm guessing instead of market <laughs> explainer. I don't. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? But. ByteDance is the current owner of TikTok, and while Danny's looking that up, what I didn't know right. about TikTok is TikTok apparently, as ByteDance, has been around since 2016, but we right. all know it really from the last 18 months or so, right? right? Like, during the Panini, it became very popular. It became very popular in the United States, right? And that kind yeah. of stuff, and, you know, got into the whole politics, almost kicked out of America in the very beginning because right. it was a Chinese company, yada, yada, Still right? Is. And it still is a Chinese company. But here's what I didn't know reading through this article. I mean, I knew, obviously, I'm a TikToker. We have a TikTok account, Market Explainer. Look us up, follow us, all that stuff. I love TikTok. My wife is addicted to TikTok. She will literally sit there and have a TV show on the television and scroll through TikTok. She has now become that person. Anyway, my point, though, is... did you know... I'm sorry, I got to make a reference to this. I'm still a person who watches The Simpsons. Don't, don't. Don't blame me. <laughs> um, hey, I don't blame you. And uh, Charlie D'Amelio, world famous TikToker, again, can't have an opinion without going to prison. So I'm not going to have one. But my opinion, if I did have one, would be good for her for monetizing her tushy. Good for you. Hey, Being whatever. Seven, 16 years old and monetizing your uh, behind. Um, I, she's a, whatever she's an thinking. adult now. She's an adult now. So, right. so is the older sister, which is more interesting. But <clears throat> she was on The Simpsons and she literally like someone was like, so wait, what do you do? And she goes, I make dance videos you watch while your TV is on. <laughs> well, or something you know, to that effect. It's so much so that, again, I didn't know until reading this article. I knew it was popular, but they have a billion daily users, a billion daily users users that is insane that's an insane number so the fact that they want to turn around and not just be a content generating machine they want to get into gaming they want to get into anything it is not surprising to me you have a captivated audience right people that are watching videos anywhere from you know most of them are 60 seconds right some of them are up to three minutes you have this captivated audience of not only people i would love to see and they're never because they're a chinese company going to release this data but to see what is the average texan for example how much time are they spending on tiktok right like so it's an insane amount i just want to say this as a disclaimer we hear 
at the Market Explainer Show, which includes myself, Danny, and the big man. We just want to say we welcome the Chinese overlords. We're not angry <laughs> at you. All right, we're we're ready to bend the knee here. No, no, um, no, no, no. I'm 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 a Texan. I don't bow down to nobody. All right. Let's, so let, let me tell you something. I'm just saying that for the goof. But um, <clears throat> I, I want to know that too. And what's interesting is, um, so it is true that Tencent owns has invested in part of ByteDance. So, okay. um, Tencent also owns WeChat and WeTV. Now, the reason okay. I wanted to, uh, the reason that connection is important is <clears throat> I remember watching, it was either a Business Insider video, Business Insider's garbage. Um, I'm backing El Prez against uh, Business Insider, but it was some video from some other main, you know, corporate news outlet, which they're all garbage. We're much better, but that WeChat is this ridiculous app that's like basically an operating system, which you go on your phone and you open up WeChat. And not only do you chat to people, you watch WeTV, which is owned by Tencent, which is Tencent is the largest streamer of TV uh, content in China. So wow. it makes sense that they would own TikTok because they want their, if they're Netflix of China, they want to own the same thing. I, Correct. I mean, what I'm saying is so they want to be Netflix and YouTube. Right. They want to be produced and user generated. Well, so, so I learned from this article, not only are they getting a billion, a, uh, a billion users, daily unique active users, users yeah. daily active users. Uh, it has become in 2022 so popular that on certain days it challenges Google as the most visited website in the world. That is Oops. insanity. And as a, as a Texan myself, I like to ask myself, which devil do I trust, right? If I, <laughs> which overlord am I more interested in, uh, you know, um, being lorded over by? Like, which change do I want? Do I want the Chinese ones or whatever? But I... Um, Google Why has this? become obviously we all talk about it, right? Well, I'll just yeah. just Google it, right? It's become it's, Google has become well, part of our vernacular. It's so speak popular. for yourself. I always say just brave search it. That's what I always say. What, I used yeah, to say sure. duck, 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 go, go it. right? But then they screwed up with the whole Russia thing. So middle fingers to them. Um, <laughs> uh, Danny's still using Safari, so you know how that goes. Um, that's, I don't even have an Apple computer. How do I use Safari? <laughs> Well, look, TikTok, yeah. to get back to the story, TikTok um, quietly, I didn't know this again until reading this article last year, acquired a small gaming company, right, right. Uh, called Moonton Technology. Um, it's right. a gaming studio, right? Look, TikTok, TikTok could be one of these things in the next decade, the next five to ten years, that becomes the next... Amazon or Facebook, Meta, whatever, because right. they can easily learn. For example, one of the things they've learned from Facebook and YouTube is the fact that uh, why charge people? Why charge the average everyday person when I can give it to those billion users for free? I can just charge advertisers anything I want if I have that billion users, right? I can right. have game developers, game studios, all of, I can provide gaming for free through my app because I'm just going to charge, right? Uh, promotions and stuff on it so i'm going to charge companies on the back end and keep it free for the user and just right. rake in the cash because of the sheer numbers you and i have said this for years that and and it's becoming more i think especially small and medium uh companies are catching on to it you right. know the the whole age of the influencer right the well i have three million followers you should give me free crap or whatever well that doesn't right. translate to sales Right. Correct. I think big corporations still are so far behind in that they want eyeballs. They don't they don't even know how or if it translates into any business at all. But Coca-Cola will throw marketing dollars at anything because they have right. an unlimited cash flow. Right. Um, the right. NFL is going to throw money behind anything because they have endless cash flow. So anything right. that shows numbers and if you as a company, TikTok in this case, goes, hey, I have a billion people come to my app every single right. day. People are going to throw money at them to have their brand as a sponsor. You know right. what I mean? As people flip through. And I remember this. This reminds me of that. Uh, Ricky Gervais was hosting some award show 
And he said to the audience, he's like, okay, everyone here is a friend of, um, you know, uh, Harvey Weinstein. And the audience kind of goes, boo, not boo. They kind of whatever hiss at him. And he Mm -hmm. goes, don't do that. Don't do that. He goes, if ISIS started a streaming platform, you'd call up your agent to see if you could get on it. (laughs) And the reason I say that is corporations, listen, I, I'm a guy with deep, strong morals, okay, with with ethics and all this other stuff. But when it's time to make money, all that's out the window, pal. Okay, I was going to say, all right, there, I, 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 everybody that's watched this ep- this uh, podcast knows that Danny likes to play it uh, soft and loose with the Fast ethics and, and morals when it comes well, to well, no, uh, business. And let me explain what I mean by that, which is if 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 someone comes to me and says, I want you to do some consulting, and the consulting is – yeah, I'm going to sit down and chat with them about starting a podcast for 10 hours. And I'm just going to give them some ideas. Nothing is concrete. It's not useful. I've actually done this before. I've gotten paid for this before, not podcasting, but just consulting on marketing where I don't actually do anything. I just sit there and talk and they furiously take notes and they pay me a check and then don't do anything I said. And then three years later, they hire some other consultant and then they end up doing it. But I'm just saying like, I mean, like, I don't think there's value in it, but value is subjective. That company's writing me a check because they believe and they rendered a service. I'm just going to let them write a check. What do I care if I don't think it's worth anything? You know what I'm saying? Well, and Danny and I have had this conversation because we both yeah. get into these kinds of situations. And I'm like, yeah. I don't really, you know, because I get tied to those things where Danny doesn't right. necessarily get as tied. But look, Not you're, married talking, to it. you're talking about a company. Again, I sit here on TikTok. My wife sits here on TikTok. It's free for us to use. Uh, just like YouTube, you, I, and other people are creating their content, right? You are the product. We are the product. Um, their forecasted um, uh, their forecasted turnover already this year is $11 billion. Okay. Okay. So, so when I sit here and I look at it and go through this, they've almost perfected. When you watch YouTube, when you watch this right. podcast or any other, you know, any other uh, content on YouTube, it right. is very clear that you come to a point, it switches to a commercial, and right. now it switches to two commercials, right? They they back to back commercials, right, or whatever, right. and then you go back to your content. TikTok has figured out, unless you it's know seamless. exactly where to look for that sponsor, where it says sponsored content, right. TikTok has figured out how to make it almost seamless. That you're right. looking, whether you're looking at an ad or you're looking at, they've made it very easy for their content creator, their big content creators to create right. ads, right? That look very like, simply, yeah. very simple because they're using their same, you know, call me Chris again. She makes ads for right. sponsors that are very similar to her content, right? You know what I mean? Right. She, she, she just did one this week with uh, the guy that, um, uh, uh, he has several Netflix um, uh, shows, uh, Hormone Monsters. There's um, a Big Mouth is what his first one's called, and now they have one called HR. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I know who you're talking about. <clears throat> anyway, the point, he's the guy from The League. But anyway, the point is... is Who's uh, ever seen that show? Dude, it was amazing. Anyway, about a football, you know what I mean? A football league. Yeah. Anyway, fantasy football league. The point, though, is she made one this week, but she did it with the character she created when she first came up in TikTok. So it felt right. very, it was sponsored, right? But it, it felt very like her normal content. So I think TikTok allows people to do that kind of stuff. So they're already, you know, slate, they've already made $11 billion, right? It's, it's right. March 21st when we're, you know, or May 21st when we're doing this. They made $11 billion. I have no idea how they did it as far as a consumer right. of their content. Is it Does Nick that make Kroll? Sense? That's, that's who you're talking about, Nick right? Kroll, Kroll is the guy, yes. Yeah. Nick Kroll. I, no, you're right. I have no clue how... There's a lot of platforms I don't quite understand how they make money. And then when I find out the, how much they're making, I go, pardon? You made how much? So when you just told me right now that they're making TikTok is they turned over a, a $11 billion, I started thinking, so what if they have all of my data? So what if the CCP <laughs> has all my data? I knew what I knew what I knew to install this and start making freaking TikTok videos about business. I don't uh, yeah, I guess you have all my data then, you know? 
Well, but they all do. That's I, and this is where I get kind of lost. And and yes, it's a China-based company, and and there are people that make more out of that than others, right? In their opinions. But as yeah. far as your dad is concerned, as far as is what, and this gets into the kind of conspiracy theory that I know Danny likes to dabble in. Look, uh, we live in America in 2022. Everybody has your data. Okay, Listen, everybody has everything about you. You make it sound like I'm you. dabbling in the occult or something. I'm... <laughs> Danny does, by the way. I um, do not. You know, he drinks baby blood after the podcast, <laughs> and um, I, you know, um... get behind me, Satan. Absolutely <laughs> not. But uh, uh, no, but I, I mean, I think that the more that the, that TikTok does, it, and you know, the Chinese government owns a piece of this company, by the way. Um, so, well, they own a piece of everything in their country. That's, <laughs> that's what makes true. them unique. Yeah, they own a lot of real estate in America also. But I'm just saying that um, the more they can get users to stay because if they've watched other apps wane, right? They've watched like Facebook is going through right now where there's mm-hmm. people are like, I'm quitting. And people right. are deleting TikTok because Elon Musk might buy it. So, which I think is great. Delete your TikTok. He means Twitter, De- not TikTok, but yes. Yeah, that's what I said. I said Twitter. <laughs> um, delete your Twitters. But let me tell you something. Um, I, I think that they are, they've done such a good job at making you addicted to staring at this thing. Absolutely. They, there's a, um, I, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a group chat with some friends and somebody accidentally said happy Mother's Day to someone who does not have a child. And then I called them up and I was like, uh, and she's like, oh, we weren't telling anybody yet. But I was like, she's like, you deserve to know because you figured it out. So I was like, hey, if TikTok can figure out how to glue you to you, to their app, they deserve your data. They deserve <laughs> to have your personal deepest, darkest information. They deserve it. They earned it. I don't, I don't go that far. I'm just saying they that earned it. in 2022, everybody has your data. The United States government that's does. True. The Chinese government well, does. Well, the fact is, well, is you're not that interesting. All right. Really? Well, any of those untrue. people out there that are going, hey, I don't want anybody to have my data. All yeah. right. All right, Joe Bob. Okay. Nobody yeah. gives a shit that you're I mean, herding sheep okay. on your farm outside of Arkansas. But, okay. let, me, but let me just say this much. Nobody cares about seeing my nudes, but if they leaked, y'all would look. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, <laughs> right? If my news got out there, and I'm not, tasteful. I'm not clicking on that link, Danny. All right, I don't yeah. give a shit. Nope. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you one of those uh, spoof links where I, you think you're gonna open it. It's gonna be an article to mm-hmm. a story for the show. And it's just gonna you mean, like oiled up. <laughs> You're going to go all family guy, all family guy. Just, yeah. 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 No, uh, uh, well, look, I, again, to kind of wrap up the story, I think TikTok not only goes into gaming, I think they go into a lot of different things. I think you're going to see unique content to TikTok in the very near future, kind of like YouTube did where they start partnering with certain people more and more and go, Hey, this is where you do it. Right. Right. And Snapchat got into that realm pretty hard. I, I think that, because there is that connection with Tencent and Tencent owns WeChat and WeChat is this app that you just go, it's basically the metaverse, right? Right. You click open the app and then you just live in that app because that app is where you chat and you use, um, you know, it's, it's like Apple pay and it does all this other stuff. So you live in WeChat, at least that's what I remember hearing. And I, I can see TikTok slowly morphing into the app of like, Hey, instead of like, hey, cash at me, it's like, hey, TikTok, pay me. And it's going to be like, and I'm going to be like, I'm going to throw my phone away. And again, I've said this numerous times on the show. I will throw my phone away and move into a barn dominium in the woods of San Antonio, in the hills of San Antonio somewhere. Well, I mean, but forget, forget, look, forget cryptocurrency. Just buy Reddit has this, right? They have, you know, uh, you give people gold, you give people platinum, right? These are all fake coins. TikTok coins are going to be a thing. If they have a game, you, if you download any game on this freaking thing right here, how they monetize it is you buying gems, right? Fortnite, you buy skins, you buy whatever, right? right? You're using real money to buy fake money to buy products and whatever it is you find okay. happiness in, right? Whatever right, game, yeah. whatever candy crush you can buy. It doesn't matter, right? That's one of the ways they monetize it. TikTok will do the exact same thing, right? Why not? Yes. Create a gaming community, create a currency, 
that people then, real, buy real money to buy fake yeah. money. And then TikTok will have your banking information. Just another layer for the Communist Party of China just to seep right into our society is they're going to have your banking information. And then they already have your fingerprint because you know, and your face, your your face scan, right? So right. all they got to do is figure out, hey, does this person has this person ever used twenty three and Me? And then they're going to build a clone of you. And then they one hundred percent know what you're doing in the bathroom while you're <clears throat> your enemy sitting well, there scrolling through TikTok. I mean, yeah, they, I they, mean they, they they know. All right. I I pulled a FOIA request to see what uh, what my federal file looked like, and uh, let me tell you something in there. It's uh, it's interesting. There's just some interesting stuff in there. So. <laughs> All right, Danny, who's our sponsor for this episode? Our sponsor for this episode is me. AvenueLucky.com is a done-for-you marketing service that I own. Um, you can go to AvenueLucky.com and check out the services that we offer on demand. And you can go uh, check out our in-house projects to learn a little bit more about the other stuff that I do. That's AvenueLucky.com. All right, folks, we'll see you on the other side. Sounds good.